I can't believe it. They actually have something like this already. What? Uh, this is so crazy because today we are going to be reacting to food concepts on TikTok, checking out the latest trends, the weird ideas, so you can be inspired for your own concept. So make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. If you guys enjoy these reaction videos of me analyzing these videos to share with you the insights on how you too can learn from it and to benefit from that for your own restaurant, make sure you guys smash that like button, show us some support, show us that this is what you enjoy so we can create more of this for you. Go ahead, smash that like button. This is actually super cool. This concept is called speakeasy. For some of you guys that don't know, speakeasy originated when the prohibition happened. That's when they banned all of alcohol and people still wanted to drink. That's the reason why people, like smart businessmen, they actually had a front, like a barber shop and stuff like that. And when people go into the barber shop, they open up the washroom door, they walk in and voila, a bar for you. Um, and it's been a really popular concept that's been around, so very, very good. Okay, looking at this, I don't know how comfortable the seatings are, especially when everything is in, on the floor. And if you just look at the decor in a little bit, it does look a little bit underwhelming, to be honest with you, because they did spend a lot of time and effort into the front of the entrance, which looks great. But now looking in the inside, I'm just judging them a little bit. I feel like, you know what, this might not be too comfortable. But let's Okay, so first of all, ordering from a phone booth is a great idea and it's a great gimmick. But if you were to ask me if would I go back to this place again, or not, probably not, just looking from that experience alone, because I'm like, I wouldn't want to walk up to order my food all the time. It's probably not the most intuitive. Um, and on top of that, looking at the cocktails, I feel like it's kind of half-baked. This whole concept is there. I feel like it's, it's there. Cocktails are beautiful, yes and no. I would say like the drink itself doesn't, it's not really super, nice but then like the of course the cup is really cool i've seen much better um, cocktails that people have the fine eye on creating that experience because at the end of the day guys if you are doing a speakeasy bar you have to pay attention to the detail there's just competition is just so furious just so many of them out there and if the experience is not top notch why would people pay like 20 bucks just for a cup of cocktail it's all about the experience and every single touch point counts the more specific you are, and the better you can make the experience, the more you can actually charge. Yeah, all in all, like I, I give them like props for creating something like this, but Effort-wise, I feel like they can put a little bit more effort in creating a better experience for people, um, especially when I've seen other ones that are like really, really paying good attention to their details. So I don't know, like I think it's, it's an okay concept. Is this the real deal or no deal? Mm, no, no, no deal, no deal. Whoa. Something that I really appreciate about this is, I don't know if it's the music from the TikTok video or is the, is the music from the store. If it's the music from the store combined with this menu, I would give them an A plus because my heart is tingling. My inner nerd is rushing out because I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. I can order my own potion. Being able to actually incorporate the theme into your menu is also a very smart thing that they're doing. And all the decor and everything just makes this experience that much more, uh, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I, I'm lost for words. Oh, wow. 
Wow. And these drinks, guys, it looks freaking amazing. It looks amazing. They are actually paying a lot of attention to detail with combining the concept of bubble tea, bobas, with a wizard theme. Boba itself is already super popular as an item. People love it. There's not too much education needed. So it's good. But the biggest problem with bubble, uh, bubble tea is that the competition is just insane. It's just out of the world. So that's the reason why if you want to actually stand out from the crowd and actually make money from this concept, then you need to combine it with other elements to really push this to the next level. So I think they did a really great job with combining wizard uh, fantasy with bubble tea. Just really gets a different type of crowd to go and enjoy their drinks while being able to have that inner fantasy come alive. So super cool stuff. Oh, gold dust. What's really also really cool is the fact that they're using wands as their stirring stick. Um, I, I, I dig this. Yeah, I think they did a great job. I, I don't know, once again, if it's the music or whatever the case may be, the whole experience just works, right? Sometimes the biggest, biggest mistake that I see people is just matching two concepts that just don't work. You can't just throw everything into the mixer, expect it to be a good dish. It just doesn't work. But these guys does it in a very tasteful manner and I, I like this, I enjoy this. I'll actually go back again and I hope they actually have board games as well. Just imagine you being in this wizard themed bubble tea place with your friends and now you get to play fantasy board games. Pretty cool stuff. A lot of time you can actually spend there nerding out, playing games, chilling with your friends. That would be the best experience possible. So I really hope that they do have games in this spot. Real deal or no deal? Definitely the real deal. Must try Boba Place in LA. They have a wide variety of fruit and milk teas. My favorite was the Cream Beer Alley Boba Milk Tea with Jasmine Jelly. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. See, what I don't know about this concept is like the decor is beautiful, guys, don't get me wrong. I, I guess I'm really spoiled because I see so many bubble teas out there, like a lot of them, guys. And each one of them has their own unique aesthetic. So I don't, I don't think aesthetic itself would, would just bring people in because people are spoiled. Um, the experience needs to have a theme that really drives people together, something that people can find common uh, between them that like, hey, you know what? This is something that I believe in. So for example, the previous video, it was a wizard theme. And if me and my friend, we love fantasies, we loved Harry Potter, then this is a common theme that pulls us together. But when we look at this design, and when we look at this concept, I don't know what they're selling. I know they're selling bubble tea. I know they have different flavors. I know the aesthetics are nice, but what is it that they're truly selling? Is it like really great tea and very sophisticated tea from Taiwan. If it is, then the decor needs to be able to tell that message, tell that branding. Or is it some type of uh, really popular bubble tea and uh, very popular tapiocas that are made with uh, brown sugar? And if that's the case, then hey, you know what? The aesthetics needs to tell that same story. Um, the cups are nice. Honestly, nothing really stands out for me um, for this place. They might have really good tasting bubble tea. Maybe, and if that's the case, you know what? They might have a chance to make it. But if not, this is just an over glorified space, huge space selling bubble tea. I don't know if they're gonna make it or not, to be honest with you. Huge space selling bubble tea. I don't know, I really don't know. I don't think they're gonna make it. I don't think they're the real deal. Today I found a brand new plant-based drive-thru. The best part was it was right next to Taco Bell, Chipotle, and McDonald's. The menu was absolutely perfect. I got fries, a green smoothie, a veg double, and a hot chicken sandwich. I also tried their Dole Whip Froyo, and it actually changed my entire life. If you're looking to try something plant-based and switch up your fast food routine, you have to check out Veg in Costa Mesa. Wow, I can't believe it. They actually have something like this already. What? Uh, this is so crazy because vegan food is an up and coming kind of deal. Um, and because it hasn't reached a tipping point yet where it's gone mainstream to a point that everyone enjoys vegan food, 
it's very difficult for big corporations to create a brand like this because this infrastructure, guys, cost them probably up to $2 million just to set up. Drive through, the whole concept, everything is super, super polished, and the menu offering and everything, definitely no less than $2 million. So definitely it requires a lot of backing. Being able to see it this right now in 2021 is really cool stuff because it means that people are willing to invest in a concept like this. If I were to choose, and if I were like on the road, I wanna have some fast food, between Chipotle, McDonald's, Starbucks, Burger King, or this, I would definitely buy this. I want something healthy, right? Fast food should not be synonymous with junk food. Should not be synonymous with food that doesn't treat your body well. Um, and this definitely has a ton of potential, I think. I truly think that in the next few years, I can actually see this brand blowing up all across the world. Real deal or no deal? Definitely the real deal. I'm really, really inspired by people who are, or even corporations who are doing things a few years ahead of us. Oftentimes, we don't think these things are possible yet. But if we just try to take a few steps forward, try to think about what the world would look like, you would see the trends that will happen. Have you ever thought about getting married at the Taco Bell Cantina in Las Vegas? the Taco Bell Cantina. It is $600 for a wedding ceremony that can fit about 25 people in total. You can also pay an extra $1,500 for two hours of a reception. All of their drinks are alcoholic versions. The $1,500 goes to food and alcohol. So usually most of that goes to alcohol because the food is very affordable. The wedding ceremony is actually upstairs. They include these really pretty flowers. They have the bow tie and then a garter belt that matches. So this is where the ceremony would happen as well as the reception, and then you look out over Las Vegas Boulevard. I, I don't think I'll ever understand, and, and this, uh, how should I describe this? Like, I, I don't wanna come across as a jerk, but I wouldn't understand what it would feel like uh, to get married at Taco Bell. It's like getting married at like, McDonald's. It, it's just not something that I, I can comprehend. And, and I know I'm very, very fortunate to be able to live the way that I live, have a certain standard for things like this, but I wouldn't want to spend a day that is so important in my life at a fast food restaurant. It just doesn't click with me. It just doesn't sit well with me. Uh, a birthday party? Sure, yeah, let's go have fun at Taco Bell. Let's go have fun at McDonald's. But getting married there? I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I would... I don't know if Cass would like it or not. <laughs> I don't know if she would even marry me if I'm like, hey, you know what, let's get married in Taco Bell. Um, but obviously not everyone is as fortunate or being able to shell out a few thousand, tens of thousands of dollars on a wedding ceremony. And people sometimes just wanna have fun. Sure, you know what, whatever floats their boat. Um, nonetheless, I think, you know what, Taco Bell does a great job. Like for them, it's all about the experience. Being able to cater to their customers, I think is, is, is really important. Do they make money from this? I don't think they truly make money from this. Is this something worth talking about? And, and is it free advertisement for them? Sure, and that's the reason why we're talking about it today. And I guess they've done their job. Free advertisement for Taco Bell. Real deal or no deal? Real deal for Taco Bell? No deal for the people getting, no. No deal for me. That's so cool. That is actually really cool. That is... Cool. That is pretty cool. I, I, I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I don't know how I feel about dining in a cabin. Uh, I think it's really cool, the, the fact that they have, like, it makes it feel like you're in a moving train. I think that's really cool. Um, and I love the fact that they went all out. Even had the decor with, like, the uniforms hanging at the back and also the waiters and waitress wearing the uniforms as well. I think this is super important. Whenever they, or whenever people do concepts, right, themes, go all out. Don't be half-baked, right? If you're half-baked, then it does not, it cannot translate that whole experience. And if you're just half-baked, you might as well just not do it. So I think it's, it's cool. To be honest with you, I don't have much I, I want to say about this. Like, would I eat here? Honestly, no, because I, I feel claustrophobic. I feel like that, why am I in such a cramped space? I don't feel good in this environment. Although it's really cool, um, and for some people who like this kind of environment, sure, they like trains, they, they get to hot pot in a train, pretty cool stuff, but for me, doesn't float my boat. So unfortunately, 
no deal for me. So there you go, friends, my analytics, my reaction to food TikToks on the internet. Some people do it really well, some people don't do it really well. And at the end of the day, they just don't know the fundamentals of business. They can't just mix everything together and expect it to work. Just because they have a food idea, if they do not know the way, oftentimes it's gonna turn into disaster. And that's the reason why we created a free masterclass specifically for you, the people that are watching, to share with you how you can turn food ideas into a viable business, completely free for you to attend. All you have to do, go into the link below the description and to attend that free masterclass. I'm gonna be there and see you guys on the inside, okay? And if you guys enjoy these type of videos, guys, make sure you guys smash that like button. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.